Hey everybody, how are you? I feel like I look a little bit more evil today than I intended to, but whatever, let's just roll with that. It's October, so that's perfectly acceptable. So I thought it was about time for another favourites video. So here are the things that I thought were particularly marvellous during the month of September and also August. Where to begin? I have a few beauty related things, of course, and a couple of yummy things again. The first thing is this weird contraption that I bought in America. I'd heard of these, I thought they just looked painful, but when I saw them for sale in Target, I thought I'm gonna try them out. This is a device for removing hair. You know that very fine hair that like everybody has on their body and on their face? Well, this little thing, you just place it against the skin. Rolly, 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 rolly. And it plucks out all the little bits of hair that it touches. A little bit painful, but it's not as bad as like actually plucking hairs out individually. Yeah, I'm not really sure what you call these. The brand on the thing is, says Tweezer Man, so they're like coil tweezers. I've heard plenty of people say that women should start shaving their faces to get rid of that layer of hair. Kinda crazy. No, I don't think many women are going to be up for the idea of shaving their faces. I also shave my arms and shave my legs, but there is no way in hell I'm shaving <laughs> my face. Weird little coil thing is really good for removing that kind of fine hair on your face that you don't want there. The next thing is these. And when I first saw these, I was like, what the fuck are those? They look like little capsules, like medicine or something, but what these actually are, balloon things full of oil. You twist the top off and the oil goes around the outside of your eyes. I get really dry, like scaly skin around my eyes. I don't know why, if it's because of all the makeup I wear all the time, if it's because of the eyelash glue that I'm constantly putting on and pulling off, I don't know. It hasn't always been that way, maybe it's just an age thing, I don't know. I've been trying to find something that actually helps, that actually relieves that scaly eye skin. And I found that these are really good. And there's enough in the packet for like a week. And one of these, I know they look really small, one of these is more than enough for both eyes for one day. I'm a big advocate of oil for using oil for beauty and healthcare and stuff. So there's just another way that I'm using oil to try and stop myself from getting older. The next thing I've got is also a skincare product and you've probably all seen these before. I know you can spend hundreds of dollars on these like electric brush things that you use for brushing your face, like a buffer almost. The concept of brushing your face seems kind of weird. You brush your hair, you brush your teeth, now you can brush your face. Brushing your face is now a thing. It's just a tool for scrubbing your face when you're using your face wash and leaves your skin feeling ridiculously clean, like it's had a really jolly good scrub. My skin always feels like really tight after I've used that. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but it feels so clean. Yeah, this was really cheap. It was probably like two or three dollars or something just from a pharmacy. The last time I did a favorites video, I was talking to you about the got to be hairspray, which I had decided is absolutely definitely 100% the best hairspray for achieving big, boofy, fluffy hair. You can make your hair stand on end with that shit. It's fucking amazing. But since then, this product has come out. This is just Taft, what's it called? Ultimate I don't know, it's in fucking German. Tuft Ultimate Harlack. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't just go up to five, it goes all the way up to six. It's like ultimate strong hairspray. And it is just as good, if not even better, than the Got To Be spray. I think a few videos ago, I had my hair looking like it was all like smooth on the top. I know it looks like shit today, sorry about that. It's getting a wash and a brush out tonight. I had this nice smooth layer on top and I was able to keep that smooth without backcombing it but it still stood up just by using this. I know, I know, I can't believe it either. I just took that hair, held it up, sprayed it and it stayed like that all day. This is an awesome hairspray. It's awesome. Try it if you see it. It's friggin great. I guess this is kind of like an indigo colored can and I think it's the only one that goes up to six. My last two items I want to show you that I've been probably way too excited about recently because you know I am a big fan of sweets and candy and sugary things that I really, really, really shouldn't eat. But since I've come to Germany, I've discovered this whole world of sweets and things that I had never seen before. And I've really, really, really had to try to rein myself in, not just sit down and get fat trying all the new things. Just like on The Simpsons, you know, that one episode where the power plant gets taken over by some Germans and they're like, we're from the land of chocolate. Yeah, it's basically like that. I think the thing that I've decided that I like the most out of everything I've tried are these fucking Kinder Maxi King things. Just look at it. I don't really understand these. I'm not, I can't quite describe what they're made of. It tastes like a Ferrero Rocher, but more delicious. Can you imagine that? Like an extra delicious Ferrero Rocher, kind of chocolate, hazelnut, 
creamy, caramelly. Oh my god, they're so good. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it's like chocolate and hazelnuts, I think, on the outside. Soft, milky stuff on the inside. The layer of like hazelnut tasting toffee kind of stuff. So good. So good. I wish I could put these on my Amazon wish list, but I can't because they have to be refrigerated. So good. The last item is a kind of soda. I never really buy 7up, but if you watch my videos regularly, you'll know that I love mojitos. Mojito is my favorite cocktail. So when I saw that you could get this like mojito flavored 7up, of course I had to try it. And actually they have nailed it. Like it tastes exactly like like a nice mojito. Apart from the, the the tang and the zing that you get from the rum, like it tastes exactly like a well-made mojito. But what kind of sucks about this, if you look here, it's limited edition. It's limited edition. Why? Why? It's like when they brought out Vanilla Coke Zero, limited edition, and you can only get it for a few months. Why? No, this is delicious. Please, 7up, keep this. I would normally never buy 7up because it's just kind of a bit too boring, I think. Mojito flavored 7up. Oh, I'm gonna have some right now. From the bottle, like a classy lady. Something I really miss is I've noticed that Mountain Dew isn't really a thing in Germany, which meh. And while I was in America, I, I got to just try that, you know, Baja Blast um, Mountain Dew, and that was really good. I love that. And also like the Sangrita Blast one. And of course, naturally, you can't get either of those here. And I'm like, Oh, I suck. I also, oh, I, f I loved Hawaiian Punch. Hawaiian Punch was my, f the f probably the nicest soft drink I've ever tasted. And I imagine all of you in America watching this right now are like, really? It's just Hawaiian Punch. But I thought it was so delicious. And I can't find anything here that tastes like it. Mm. But yeah, that's my favorites for August and September. A soft drink that tastes like mojito. A cool soft candy that tastes like a better Ferrero Rocher. A deadly looking hair removal tool, an extremely strong hairspray, a brush for your face, a little oil drops around your eyes. Why don't you tell me what your favorite sweet is? If you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my lovely channel. I make at least two videos a week. Thank you very much for watching and I'm kind of sorry for looking a little bit too evil today. I think it's just these lenses. I don't know, I just really wanted to wear them. So as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, stay spooky and I'll see you next time. Bye! How many days till Halloween? I'm here today to recreate a makeup look that I wore to a party a few months ago. You had to dress up as a song title and I went as Haunting Picture from Corpus Delicti, one of my all-time favourite bands. I thought it would be fun.